Hi, language artist. I'm Mrs. Huber. Welcome to Language Arts. I thought I'd give you just a little bit of information about me, um, our class, and ways to get started. I am really looking forward to meeting you. So a little bit about me. I have been teaching for about 19 years. This is my second year at Flex, and so hopefully this year will go a little bit more smoothly than last year. Um, in my spare time, I really like to go camping. I like to go hiking. This summer, I just bought a kayak, so I've been kayaking a lot. And my son just bought a paddleboard, so I think I'm going to get a paddleboard and paddle along with him. Um, you will maybe see at some of our help sessions, I have two dogs. One dog, the little one, is named Sugar. She's a little chihuahua. And the other one is named Toby. He is a border collie. Um, it's technically a McNabb Shepherd, but that's, you know, they were both from rescue dogs from the Humane Society. And one of our favorite things to do every day is go for long walks, though little sugar, if it's too hot out or too cold out or just anything other than absolutely perfect, she doesn't always love that. So enough about me. Let's take a look at what you'll be doing in class this year and how to get started. All right, so the first thing that you want to do to get started is to log into our um, Canvas page. If you are in seventh grade, just know that um, it's going to be set up very similarly. The only difference is going to be like some of the content is for seventh grade rather than sixth grade. So um, in the middle, just like in all your classes, you will find links to our video help sessions. This week, week one, we have, um, I'm looking forward to meeting you all on Friday uh, based on your last names. Um, what I kind of thought would be fun is I have a just for fun puzzle. You can open it, make a copy. You could work on it on Kami or you could print it out. The answers are here if you really want. And if you don't have access to books, um, I want you to know that's not true. You do have access to books. Our district has a um, online library through Sora that you can check out books on and read digitally. Um, Epic is available to you and Scholastic, you can purchase books, but you do need to pick them up at our Tumwater location. Um, just a note to seventh graders, if you do go to Epic, your names are not um, on there because it would have like 200 names on there. So if you want to read on Epic, I would love to have you send me an email, send me a message on Canvas, and I will add you to the class. So how to get started. What you want to do is you want to go to modules. So this is what it looks like when you get to modules. You will see we have our class resources, there's some videos, our learning targets, and a pacing guide. I'm working on updating the pacing guide, but um, it will show you as you go what you need to do for the entire semester. So far I have the first two weeks done and I hope to get more done soon. Um, the Next part is our weekly plans. This is where you will go each week if you want to stay right with the class. Remember that is not something that you have to do, but this is just a way to keep you on track so you don't have a lot of things to do at the end. So our weekly plan for week zero, you will find when our help sessions are, any announcements, and um, what I would suggest that you do this week. These are the things that I suggest you do this week. Then finally, the other way that you can work through the course is by going through the modules. Once you're in the modules, you can actually just use the next buttons. If you ever get to something that it says it won't open and it looks gray here on the modules page, it's because you haven't completed the assignment before that. There's also a little check off here to say that you've done it and the circle to say, hey, wait, I still need to finish that. So as you're going, make sure that you complete each thing in order. The final place that you is good to look at if you want to stay on track with what I'm thinking is your calendar. You will notice for me, like the 321 reflection is crossed off. It's because I finished it and I've submitted it. I don't need to worry about it anymore. Um, and then the next thing I need to do is um, submit my design, my virtual locker. Finally, the best way to Reach me is on um, Canvas email, so you can just click on that inbox. It doesn't let me do it as a student, but um, that is the best way to reach me. You, 
you are welcome to message me with questions, comments, concerns. If you find something that just isn't working or doesn't look right, or if I've made a mistake, please let me know so I can fix it. So that's our overview for language arts. My puppies are running around saying it's time to go for a walk or maybe it's time for dinner. So I'm going to go. I will see you later. If you have more questions, come to our help sessions. Or if you just want to say hi, because I really want to meet you, please come there. I will see you soon. Bye.